Hey guys, what's up? It's Mila and I'm going to teach you guys how to make DIY snow globes. And um, before we start the video, can you please subscribe and hit the bell for any new updates on videos. And let's see if we can get this video to 48 likes in 24 hours. And if you can do that all in 10 seconds, that would be awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Okay, if you did that, please um, comment down below DIY snow globes. And then let's get on with the video. So what you're gonna need is um, a container. I already have mine filled. What you're, actually, let's start with what you need. You're gonna need water, and you can put this glycerin. Um, we got it at CBS, and if it's not there, you can check out H-E-B, because we heard that they have that too. And you can get glitter. We got little flakes here, golden, silver fine glitter and some rainbow. We've also got this milky color and this gray color. So I'm gonna be using Shopkins for today's video and we're gonna be doing um, little sandwich and honey, I think. Jam maybe, jam and honey. And I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun and I'm gonna have beads here, little beads. See that one? Little beads. And um, so if you guys um, know beads cost like $5 and stuff, so I mean you could get like a whole jar, like mine, I used half. But um, I'm going to be using the fat ones here. See these little fat guys, little fat? I'm going to be using them to glue, hot glue, of course hot glue, hot glue these, um, them to the stand, and like you can see over here, I've already made one, if you can see that. And if you can look very closely down there, you can see that it is um, necessary to use those if you want to see them. So guys, today when I was ready to shoot this video, I found this old jar that I used to hold my favorite jam in. And I thought to myself, well, I have a lot of stuff that I can probably put into this. Then I thought, well, I have a hot glue gun. Let's make a hot, uh, not not a hot glue gun out of it, but a um, a snow globe. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make one. So you already saw the ingredients that I told you, and be sure, be very, very, very caution, cautious to be um, to ask your parents if the jar is good enough because glitter it makes little holes which water will leak out of and make a big mess and i don't want you guys to get upset so i just felt like to tell you that instead of like just using a random jar just use like a normal jar that could hold it and while we're talking about this this is one of um, my sister's creations. This is my first snow globe I ever made. As you can see, it's not very good, but I was able to learn and I made this little guy. You can even make miniature ones. Can you see that? Is it? Okay, so that's what we're gonna be. Ugh, stringy. So, Remember when I told you to use these big fat ones? I meant we're gonna use these big fat ones. So what you'll need is three or more if your jar is super big, but I'm gonna use three because I want my two little friends to be very famous. Actually, I'm gonna use two. Okay, they're not gonna be very famous, but um, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna put a glob of hot glue right there, and I'm gonna stick it on. I'm gonna do that. And then do that again. Once those two dry, I'm going to use Jelly. His name is Jelly. So when I, right now, um, I have my 
water full of glycerin if you can't see that but add a lot of glycerin if you like and make sure that the water is really close to the top so you don't have so you have like tiny air bubbles like this one tiny air bubble up there see it mm -hmm. instead of having a giant air bubble there's one over there that has a giant air bubble we don't want that because then it will make it all like clump. The glitter will stay at the top and it will be all clumpy and the glycerin won't be able to work its magic. So that's why we have to do the um, little, uh, that's why we have to have little air bubbles, just tiny ones, not big ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue the Shopkin right there. And I'm gonna wait till it dries. But right now, I'm gonna introduce you to Peanut Butter Jelly Time. His name is Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Everyone say hi to Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Hi. So I'm gonna um, put, I'm gonna glue him to the little thing top. Um, and I'm going to make my clumsy hot glue gun sit down. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing until you're satisfied with how many shopkins or whatever you're using is on there. The only reason I started this video is because all the waste, if you haven't learned about it, all the waste is in one big cl clump in the ocean and less and less um, um, creatures down there are disappearing and they're almost extinct and I want to like help save them all because it's important to keep this um, place healthy and so that something like doesn't go wrong in our earth it starts drifting off earlier because everyone wants to live their life nobody wants to die in the middle of their life so that's why and then you're going to do the same thing with peanut butter jelly time. These little square ones, you're going to have to hold for a little bit of time because they um, start to drift off of your little statue. As you can see, I'm only using peanut butter jelly time and other one, but maybe I can find one in here. Mm. No. I found one! We're gonna use chocolate. Chocolate. I like that name, chocolate. So then we're gonna glue chocolate on there because uh, who doesn't like chocolate? Unless the people who are allergic. Unless the people who are allergic. And I want to glue them on here so that chocolate can be famous too. Because chocolate is a very famous drink food so um after um they dried um i got us a little thing of the stuff and see how it's not all the way up to the top yet i need to add the glitter first because i don't want it going on the edges because remember they make little holes that water comes out of which we don't want making a big mess so that's why it's only going up to here once i add the glitter and push it down with my trusty fork then i can put a little more water and glycerin in it until i like how it is so um, I am done decorating. As you can see, I added a little friend right here. His name is Brownie. And um, just to inform you, you cannot, you can put it wherever you want, but try not to keep it away from the edges so you can close it because we don't want all the work going that, that you did to waste, just to inform you. And now for the fun part. Glitter. I'm gonna be using this because it matches my little uh, thing and I'm gonna be using that because it's uh, who does not like glitter except for my parents. My parents don't like glitter. So yeah, good. My parents, ooh, that's tape. Okay, but ugh. I'm gonna be adding some of these little specks I'm gonna be like adding a lot of glitter because I like my things colorful. I'm gonna be adding some white fine, as you can see there. Okay. I'm good. Ooh. 
I'm gonna be adding some of this. Not too much. And then I might be adding some rainbow. Or should I do? Yeah, rainbow. Rainbow is good. I'm gonna be adding a lot of rainbow. Come on, rainbow. There we go. And those are all my colors I'm gonna be using for today's video. And so my trusty fork or back scratcher, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. You kind of want to like push it down. Because you want it all down there. Ooh, it's so pretty. So my trusty dusty fork will go down there. And I'm going to be adding some more water and making sure that the edge is all clean. So that's all I'm going to be using. And as you can see, my good friends over here that I have accidentally hot glued, wink, I have accidentally glued onto my little thing right here are going to drown in glitter. Don't worry, that might happen sometimes if you add enough, add too much. I'm gonna unscrew it and see if any glitter. And I'm all done with my snuggly band. So be sure to wipe off any water if you don't want your house to get flooded with water and glitter. So I'm wiping it off. As you can see here, all my little friends right here are covered in glitter, which is okay with me because I told them they were gonna be flooded in glitter and water and glycerin. And then once you're done, you can shake it up and watch it all glow. And that's my finished product. Thanks for watching and be sure to get the 48 thumbs up that it, the video wants you to get. And I'll see you tomorrow in 24 hours.